Hey guys, what is going on? This is the 4th Gen Gamer here, and let me give you guys like a 5 second story. A 5 second story. It'll be real quick, alright? Once upon a time, I made a video on how to Pokegen, and you could do one Pokemon at a time, and now I know how to do it with like a whole box. That's the story, I don't know, maybe it was longer than 5 seconds, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do Pokegenning without any device, with more than one Pokemon at a time. That's beautiful. So the other video is still valid. It still works. This is just a better, more efficient way of doing it if you want to do more than one Pokemon at a time. So anyway, the website that we were originally working with over here, this is the first website. I will link it down below. This shows you how to do one at a time. Now, if you want to import more than one at a time, click this link. Yeah, I will link this as well. This is what we're working with right now. So now what you're going to need is PK Hex. PK Hex. PK Hex is really important. That's the program we're going to be using. I will link this as well. This is the PK Hex download. Go to this website and go down here. PK Hex. Click it. It's a zip file, so you're going to have to extract it. I'll show you guys real quick. You should get WinRAR is a good program for that type of thing. And uh, you just open it up as long as you have a program that can open it. This is the EXC. Make sure you download that. Put it on your desktop or something. I already have it. I already have it, so I'm all prepared. Let's open that bad boy up, and I already have it up. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. That was, that was, yeah, that was that. My internet was weird when I tried to record this the first time, so I had to do it again. So anyway, anyway, let's go ahead and open up this PK Hex. This is what we have right now, and what the fuck just even happened? All right. Thank you, computer. Yes, wonderful. Let's go ahead and go to PK Hex now. This is the program that should pop up. Go down to Tools and go down to Toggle Box Interface. Now you have your whole PC there. Box 1, Box 2, everything. Great stuff. So now people were saying they were having trouble making the Pokemon, so I will show you guys this time how to make the Pokemon themselves and hopefully not run into any problems. And I'll show you guys that it actually works. So I'm going to make a Wobbuffet because I just had to make a Wobbuffet so I know what legal stats are and everything. And uh, I'm going to run through it super duper quick. This video isn't super duper long. And hold on one second, I just need to open up that on my other monitor so I can actually see what I'm doing. And uh, what you're going to want to do, first of all, if you want to be in English, put in English, then that should be good. If you want to be shiny, click this, it'll be shiny. If that's all that's important on this page. Make sure it's all legal. Make sure there are no key items, just normal items here. Uh, just nature, do whatever you gotta do. Make sure you're entering a level. That's pretty important. So just do like level 100. That will automatically put in the experience. If you want to do an egg, do that. If you want to do that, that, da 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 You do whatever you want for the rest of this stuff. Friendship, I don't think affects it too much. This is more what you guys want to put in and that type of stuff. Now it gets a little more important. Over here, origin game, do what you gotta do. Whatever you want, doesn't matter to me. Met location, this is really important. Make sure you put something in. Cave of origin, beautiful. We'll do that. Met level. This is really important as well. Make sure you type it in. It's level 100. Let's just do level 100. We could do we could do 55 or 66 or not 666 or 255. That makes no sense. So you can do whatever you want. You can do one, two, whatever. So anyway, this stuff doesn't really matter as much. I don't think I wouldn't really mess with it too much. But uh, yeah, let's do level 100. I don't know. I did level 100 and that worked. So. Anyway, that's that. Stats, make sure that your EVs do not go over 510. IVs, I would just randomize, uh, maybe until you get a high number. Right now it's 59, so maybe try to get high. 115 is good, I guess. And then attacks, those should be legal, so they could be usable online. And you're, that's all the important stuff. Let's give it a quick item, so you make sure that the items work as well. Give it some leftovers. And now here's your Pokemon. That's how you make the Pokemon. If you had trouble with that before, this works, so I don't know what to tell you if it doesn't work, if it appears as an egg or something. Literally, you ready? Ready for magic? Boom. Drag. Boom. Drag. Boom. Drag. Boom. Drag. Craziness right there. Let's let's get a Bidoof in there. Let's get a Bidoof in there. I don't know. Why not? It's still met in a certain place, whatever. Let's just test it out. Test the waters. Put in some random locations. There we go. Bidoof. 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 Everywhere. There you go. Now you got a nice little box with random Pokemon everywhere. And, uh, you know what? This needs to be swagged out. Let's get a nice little Piplup going on in there. There we go. Piplup has everything awesome. Let's put a little Piplup in there. So anyway, that is your box right there. That's what our box will look like. Now go to Tools and go to Save Box Data. Now, if you click Yes, here's what we gotta think. Here's what we gotta think. What we're going to be doing is replacing a box with another box. So pretty much in box one over here, this will replace all of box one. So if you have, you know, a shiny Milotic that you have in box one, it'll be overwritten. So it doesn't exist anymore. So make sure you move that out of box one. Now, here's the thing. There are two options you have when you click this. No means you just do box one. That's what you'll probably want to do. If you click yes, it'll do all the boxes. So you can get a whole PC full of awesome Pokemon. However, all the other Pokemon will be overwritten or just they won't exist anymore. 
because they're, they're going to have new Pokemon over them. Even if it's a blank spot, it will be overwritten. So go ahead and click no if you want to do just a box, which probably most of you will want to do, and save it to your desktop. I already have one saved, so I'm just going to save over it. And there we go. So that's our file that we have. Now what you're going to want to do, my nice messy desktop right now, uh, it's beautiful. Let me just go on my capture card so you guys can see what's going on. Well, let's go ahead and take out the SD card. Now, make sure that you have an SD card reader on your computer that uh, can read SD cards, because that's wonderful. Let me put this in real quick. Put it in real quick. I know you guys can't hear me that well. Now you can. Let me put it in real quick. Nice and easy. And if your computer can read SD cards, they do have USB SD card readers. They're really cheap, like five bucks each, nice and easy. And uh, this is where I saved mine. This is the box data that I saved. It should be named box data. So anyway, PC data, that would come up if you saved your whole entire PC. So that means it would be all these empty boxes. They would overwrite your other boxes. But anyway, this is what we saved. So drag it into your SD card and uh, yes, replace the file because I already did it once, but now I have a new box data to actually use. So anyway, now we have the SD card with the new boxes all good. And let's eject that bad boy. So there we go, I got it out, and let's go ahead and put this SD card back into here. Now, the SD card has all the wallpapers and the update for our uh, Mega Ruby, so we're just going to turn this off for a second, and there we go, put it back on, and now it should recognize the SD card will be all updated for ORS. I, I don't know if it has to be updated or not. Uh, it doesn't matter, really. You should have the update by now. And uh, also something I want to mention real quick and, you know, probably important, is make sure that your DS is on the version... 9.0 to 9.4 and this should work and one other little tidbit is if you want to know how to get that well go to your system settings and on your top screen it should say in the bottom right i believe if not just look it up you should be able to look up how you can get that so anyway we're going to go to our home menu while the game is open that's really important go to your internet browser while you have this new file and everything hopefully my internet will cooperate this time and it's not see look i don't have any bars i don't have any bars i don't have any bars that is not good. That means I don't have internet on this. There we go. Now we do. Now we do. Now we do. Now we do. That is a beautiful thing. Because I'm doing a tutorial, and when you're doing a tutorial that needs the internet, you kind of want that. So anyway, let's just type in a nice little load code. Load code dot project Pokemon dot org. Project Pokemon dot org. So yes, that's where you're going to want to type in. While the game is open with your new box Type in loadcode.projectpokemon.org. It's pretty specific, so make sure you type that in or else it will not work. If it doesn't work for you, then just type it in a few times. Hopefully your internet cooperates. And there we go. Mine actually works. Thank Arceus. Yes. Okay, good. Failed to load. That's perfect. I'm not even being sarcastic. It's supposed to not load. And it's supposed to crash your browser. Yes. An error has occurred. That's perfect. I know. I'm being like a sarcastic asshole. Guess what? I'm not. Because that's what's supposed to happen. The browser is supposed to crash. I'm still not being sarcastic. Because look. Now we got random Pokemon that we wanted. And you ready? You ready? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's what we wanted. Look. There's the Wobbuffets. There's the Wobbuffet again. There's Piplup. There are the Bidoofs. It's all perfect and happy happy and awesome. And hopefully if you did it right, they will be usable online as long as it has the Met, the Encounter area or whatever. You know, this is Cave of Origin, Met level 100. All that stuff, as long as it's entered in right, we're all good. And now, now, now we have a fucking Piplup and that's amazing. Anyway guys, hopefully this video did help you. I'm looking out to make a tutorial for this for Mac. Hopefully I can do it. I've been having some trouble with it. But Mac users, hopefully a tutorial is on the way. If this video did help you, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for more. Let me know if you use this down in the comment section below. Hopefully it's a lot easier than the other way that I told you to do. It's not easier, it's just uh, more efficient, I guess. But uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.